Hi everybody, how are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all doing amazing today. My name is Tracy and you're watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy as well as on Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges to help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for the next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to figure out how much I need to save from this week's paycheck. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we are going to be working on uh, this week, which is week one for June, and I'm going to be using uh, Monday's date, which was June 5th. And we are also in week 23 for the year. So with that being said, let me go ahead and post that up there. It's my little cheat sheet. And so the very first savings challenge that we're going to participate in is the 52 week reverse challenge where I am trying to save $1,378 in a year. So because we are on week 23 for the year, using this challenge the reverse way, I need to save $30. Uh, if I was using this challenge in the traditional method, because we are on week 23, I would be saving $23, but that's not the case. That's not the case. I'm using the reverse uh, method. So this week I need to save $30. Once I have my $30 in my cash envelope binder, I will have a total of $943 saved so far this year. The next savings challenge that I have here is Bunko Against Time, and hopefully you caught the video yesterday where Mari from Budgets and Chaos and I did a live show yesterday where we all got together and we played Bunko Against Time. We had a lot of fun, and uh, I was the one that got the most points on uh, yesterday's video, so that was really fun. Um, let's see. So with that being said, I do not need to play this today because I've already played, but I need to let you know, for those of you that missed that video, uh, I did have to save $47 this week. So that's how much I'll be saving this week with Bunko Against Time. Speaking of Mari from Budget Saying Chaos, if you remember from yesterday, if you can, actually if you missed it from yesterday, um, or if you did watch, if you remember, uh, she was currently at 795 subscribers on her YouTube channel. We are trying to get her up to 1,000 subscribers so then she can start going live on her channel as well. And so, she is very, very close as of yesterday. Like I said, she is at 795 today before making this video. I just looked and she is now at 809 subscribers, everybody. She is very, very close to reaching that 1,000 subscriber level. So if you could, if you are not currently uh, subscribed to her channel, after this video, please go over, make a note on a piece of paper, use a pen, pencil, whatever, uh, write it down next to you, right next to it. So then when you're done watching this video, then that little uh, reminder note will remind you to go over to her channel and subscribe and show her some support so then she can uh, just move up the levels in the subscriptions and uh, can actually go live on her channel. So right now, she is at $809, uh, $9, $809 subscribers. Speaking of dollars, <laughs> she also has an Etsy shop at, um, at Budgets and Chaos, and she has this savings challenge. I'm going to move these ones to the side for just a moment. And so I am going to be playing that one today. Um, basically, I'm just going to roll one die. And I need to pick a number between one and six because there's a total of six numbers on one die, obviously. And so um, this card shows three rounds. I'm actually going to play four rounds. So when it gets to the last week of June, I'll just do my numbers over here on the side. And this is a cute little uh, cash envelope. I've seen others playing it and I'm like, you know what? I want to do this for June. 
And so here I am. So for this week, um, I'm actually going to keep it uh, like this all through the month. Um, let's see, I want to use a different Sharpie. I have a blue one right here, but it's going to match the print. So I want to change it up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the number five to roll. And so basically what you do is you roll. Um, and if you uh, say get a one, you write down a one. If on roll two, I get a three, I'm going to write down three. If I get a five, then that is a knockout. And then I'm going to knock out roll one and roll two because you're basically knocking out all of those numbers that are above that five that I just rolled. So that's how this works. So let's go ahead and let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and roll the first die, the first roll and see what we end up getting. So we got a two, so that is not a five. So I need to write that down. And roll to number two is a six. And then at the very end, if I uh, don't get any knockouts, I have to add all of those numbers up. And that's how much I need to save on this savings challenge. So <laughs> we shall see how much I need to save this week. All right, there's another two right there. And then we have three. And then we have one. Okay, so maybe maybe fives aren't my lucky number. <laughs> we have a three. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have two. Oh my gosh, a six. Oh my gosh, okay. This better be a five or else I'm gonna be saving a whole lot of money this week on this knockout. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. All right, 10th roll was a one, that's not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this all up. All right, so we have two plus six plus two plus three plus one plus three plus two plus six plus three plus one. So we have a total of 29 points, which is then $29. So let me go ahead and do this again. So there's eight, there's five, there's four, there's five again. And then 9, 10. So thir 32. Wow. Okay. So did I, did I just mess it up? Did I miscalculate? Give me just a moment. I do each number, I guess. I was trying to add them all up um, by combining the numbers, but that didn't work. Uh, my finger. I just got back from the garden, so my fingers are like really super rough. Anyway, okay. So 29. So that means for knockout, I need to save $29 this week. All right, the next savings challenge that I have here is the Etsy sales by state. And on this one, I looked at all of my sales from May 29th through June 4th. And unfortunately, no new sales from the three states that I'm still looking to fill did not um, come in for this last week. So if you are from the states of Alaska, Hawaii, or South Dakota, or if you know of anybody in those states that do savings challenges, <laughs> then give a shout out, please. Um, because when you purchase from one of those three states um, for the first time in 2023, I will write your name down in those states, and then um, when I need a, uh, and then I just heard something weird in my house. I don't know if it's my daughter or what. Anyway, okay, it, it distracted me. Anyway, so if you um, purchase from one of those three states, then um, I will need to save $5, and then that will get me closer to finishing off this savings challenge. But for this week, no new sales came in for last week, and so I do not need to save money for this week. So again, those states are for Alaska, Hawaii, and South Dakota. All right, next savings challenge that I have here is the $1,000 savings challenge, the cats rule the world. And I think let's go ahead and do, what other savings challenges do I have? Um, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do $20 this week, guys. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm feeling on this one. I'll do like what I did last week, where if it comes to $170, 
um, then I will add another 20. If it's $170 or less, I'll save another 20. But if it's over the 170 mark, then I'll hold. Okay, so we'll see what happens with this one here in just one moment. Okay, the next savings challenge, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring these over. The next savings challenge that I have here is the cute little sloth savings challenge. And this one is the uh, mini cash envelope uh, laminated uh, set. And when I have all 24 envelopes stuffed, I will have a total of $300 saved. So I have the tracker right down uh, on the back of the uh, cover. And this week I need to save $10. So let's find the $10 envelope, which is right here. I'll put this one on the front. So this is what this one looks like this week. So each envelope is designed differently, but the front and the back of the one envelope will be the same. That way you don't have to worry about what is the front or what is the back. Um, they both are the exact same image, but each individual envelope is different. Okay, I do have these sets in my Etsy shop already laminated. For those of you who don't have time to craft them yourself, or you're just not a crafter, or you don't have a laminating machine, whatever the case may be, I do have these in my Etsy shop at Tracy Monster Savings. Uh, if you do like to craft them yourself and you have all of the tools to put them together, you can also purchase it um, for cheaper Um and you'll get a digital, uh, uh, instant digital download so you can print the envelopes or the designs from your own printer. Or you can have them um, sent over to like Staples or, or uh, Office Depot and they can print them out for you. So anyway, so that is the cute little sloth. I'll be saving $10 this week. All right, the next savings challenge that I have here is the $1,000 savings challenge. And on this one, this is from Tina, a pink cloth life here on YouTube, pink cloth on Etsy, and then a pinkcloth.co on her website where this is where I got the binder. Um, for this week, I am down to the last final three weeks. And once I have my last final three weeks done, I will have a total of $1,000 inside of this binder. So for this week, um, each one of these little squares has a $40 increment, so I'll be saving $40 this week with this savings challenge. All right, next savings challenge I have here is the Save the Change savings challenge, and I have all of my change right here. So let me go ahead and count this and see how much I was able to save for last week. So we have $1 there. And then we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, $2 there. And then we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So $2.39. All right, so let me go ahead and bring all of this down so I can bring this over. So you can see me fill my little slots here. And so then I can see if I need to roll anything at the same time at the end of this week. So two more quarters there. And then we need, let's see, four quarters. That will make five quarters, or geez, Louise, dimes. Then I have four dimes there. And then I need four nickels. I don't have four nickels. Darn it, I need one more nickel. What the heck? I need one more nickel in order to roll it. Oh well, there's another dime. All right, so I have four, four, five, and then I have five more pennies here. So that one is full there, and then five more going there, and then we only have four. Man, all I needed was one more nickel. What the heck? I, uh, I wish I had one more nickel. I don't. I'll have to come next week, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down. Oh, another dime. Woohoo! Yay! It was counted. It just got shoved underneath the tray. Okay, so $2.39. Let's go ahead and write that down. $2.39 for this week that was saved. Okay, so... 
Um, I didn't bring in a scratch off board game. Darn it. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I am going to do the Paradise Island Savings Challenge again. And now hear me out on this one. The reason why I want to do this one again is because I did not get the opportunity to scratch off a single scratcher last month. So what I want to do is I want to play another round on this game board and then I'm just going to use a different color and uh, then I'll be able to um, just add to the 121. So let's go ahead and turn this around. So what I'll do is I will do round two over here on this side. So round number two. All right, so then that way we can continue on with this game uh, and just do a whole nother round. And hopefully this time I'll be able to do some scratchers. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna just go ahead and do one. Hmm, do I wanna do one? Yeah, I'm gonna wanna do one die because then that's gonna give me more opportunity to scratch. So I think what I will do, I'm trying to think of how many times I wanna roll. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. we have four weeks, so that would give me like three rolls. I think it would give me three rolls. I'm just gonna get do. I'm just gonna do two for right now. It might take me into the next month, and if that's the case, that's okay. Um, that's okay. So I'm gonna do two rolls using one die, going the second time around on the board game. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. So we have six, and I am going to use. <laughs> hmm. Let's let's just go ahead and stick with the red pen. It's fine um, because I'll be highlighting it in a different color at the end of the week when I stuff my cash envelope. So we have six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. See, look at there. I get to scratch off a scratcher. Yay! That was the whole point of me wanting to do this whole game a second time, is so then I can scratch off some scratchers. All right, so $5 is how much I need to save this week. So uh, let's see, plus $5 for this one. Um, do I want to add on top of the 121? I think I'm going to keep it separate, and then I'll combine at the very, very end. So uh, Monday's date was June 5th, and then this is going to be for week number 23. Normally I do it by weeks of the month, but because we may be going over this month into next month on this game, uh, I'm just going to put the week of the year. So $5. So that gives me a $5 balance so far at the end of the week. All right, let's go ahead and do round or roll number two. So roll the number two, I got a three. So I was right here. So we have one, two, and three. So that is the $1. All right, so let's go ahead and double that up there. And we got $1. So that will bring me up to $6 this week that I need to save for the Paradise Island Scratch Off Board Game Savings Challenge. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get all of my savings challenges and I will write them all down here on my weekly breakdown totals tracker. I have a total of tw uh, 12 challenges that I can write down on here. And I have no clue how many I just did. So uh, this tracker will help me to find that out right now. So the Paradise Island, I'm just going to go ahead and write Paradise. Um, I needed to save $6 this week on that one. And then we had Save the Change, and that was $2.39. And then the $1,000 binder, that one was $40. And then the Cute Little Sloth, that one was $10. And then we have the um, Cats Rule the World, so I'll put... Um, 1,000 K cats. <laughs> and that one was $20. 
And then nothing for Etsy. And let's see, we had knockout. So let's go ahead and write this new one down. And that one was 29. And then Bunko against time. I have a feeling this is going to go like over 200. I don't know. I just kind of have that feeling um, only because the Bunko against time in itself is $47. And the 52 week reverse challenge is $30. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's see how this works out this week, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and count this. Okay. So now that I have all of my challenges written down, now what I want to do is I want to add all of those challenges up to see how, what my total is for week one of June. So let's go ahead and add these up. So we have $6, $2.39, $40, $10, $20, and then $30. All right, so earlier I had said that if I had $170 or less, I'd be saving an extra $20 on the Cats Rule the World savings challenge this one right here my total came to a hundred and eighty four dollars and thirty nine cents so i am not going to add an additional twenty dollars to the savings challenge i think by me adding in the knockout and then adding in the um the paradise island savings challenge again it's uh, pushed me over so that's okay all right, so I'm at 184.39, which now brings me to Roundup, okay? So being that my total is 184.39, I want to round that total up, round it up to the highest, or yeah, to the highest $10. So if my total is $184.39, bringing it up to um, the highest $10, that would be $190.39. So if I put that total in here, 190.34, oops, 190, 190.39, 190.39, <laughs> the difference is $6, okay? So I will write down $6.00 on the Round It Up Savings Challenge. This savings challenge I designed so then it kind of gives me the extra little push to save a little bit more. So on this savings challenge, you're either going to break even and not save anything, or you will save at most $9. So again, it's a really nice savings challenge just to give you the extra push to get you to save a little bit more. So if I've added this all correctly, um, I need to write, round it up. I'm just going to write, round it up really quick. And then that was $6. So let me go ahead and double check my work. If everything calculates out to be the way that I just uh, told you, it would be $190.39. So we have $6, $2.39, $40, $10, $20, $30, $29, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $
And when I am done with the year, then I will come back to this savings tracker at the end of December. I will add all of those amounts up and that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire year of 2023. So that's how my savings trackers work. That's how my savings challenges work. If you like any of the product that you've seen today, you can head over to Tracy Monster Savings because like I said earlier, I do have over 200 listings for you to choose from. While you're over there, if you can give it a follow or a favorite, whichever device you're using, they'd say something different. But if you can just follow my uh, Etsy shop, that way whenever I upload a new product or listing to my uh, store, then you'll be given a notification and be one of the first to be able to purchase that design. Uh, if you like this uh, video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on this channel, then please do not forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way is whenever a uh, new video goes up, then you'll be given a notification that way as well. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You all are so amazing. Don't forget to head on over to Mari's channel at Budgets in Chaos and show her some love by subscribing. And I'm sure that she would really uh, appreciate it or love if you headed over to her Etsy shop, again, at uh, Budgets and Chaos, and you showed her some love th uh, there also by either following her or by showing her support if you have any um, extra funds uh, where you wanted to purchase something from her Etsy shop as well. I'm sure she'd be very, very grateful. So anyways, everybody, thank you so much for being here again all the way to the end. You guys are absolutely amazing. And until next time, I'll see you guys at the end of the week when I have my cash in hand and I am ready to stuff my cash envelopes. Have a good one and stay safe out there, everybody. It is a crazy, crazy world out there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.